Melbourne Spring Fashion Week is underway. There's designer runways, free workshops and business forums. And today, David Jones gave us a sneak preview of what's in for spring racing. I don't necessarily think so. I think there's an option out there for everyone if you've got legs that are, go up to you know your waist, you may as well show them off. But I think most of the looks out there were to the knee or just above, um, and a lot of pants options as well. So that's always nice to see. It's just a new take on race wear and um, a bit more of a modern contemporary look at it. But um, yeah, the skirt length is usually, it's pretty standard. It's pretty just above the knee and we don't like to see it any higher than that. Yeah, a little bit of sparkle. It's nice to see the brocade and embroidery coming through. That's been a big trend in the regular fashion world for a long time and now we're seeing it translating to the track. So you can have a bit of fun with a bit of glitz and glamour but not going too overboard so we steer away from sequins you can have a bit of glitz and glamour maybe in the print of your dress or maybe with the jewelry that you wear or maybe a bit of bling on your hat or your headpiece but um yeah it's nice to see a little bit of fun creeping in well, i think there's something out there for everyone um as i mentioned if you've got really long legs and you want to show them off there's an option out there for you but for someone who's a little bit more mature suiting still a great option and there's dresses for every body type as well i think the whole idea is to um get amongst it and the whole idea is to dress up that's why it's a carnival and and it's pretty much the only time that we can put a hat on and put a bright dress on during the day and actually feel great and and not you know not feel inappropriate during the day <laughs>